With NEB Cutter, you can visualize a restriction digest on a virtual gel. Let's walk through an example using PAC-C1 and the Lambda Phage Genome from NEB. If you have a sequence you would like to analyze, you can paste it in the DNA sequence box. You can also select from frequently used plasmids and phage genomes, or select from a previous project. Let's visualize a virtual digest of the Lambda Phage Genome. Click on the Viral and Phage option and select Lambda NEB from the menu. Lambda DNA is linear, so leave Circular unchecked. Click Submit. The resulting image only indicates enzymes that cleave once. Since PAC-C1 cleaves more than once, we need to use the NEB Cutter Custom Digest feature. Click Custom Digest. You can search for a specific enzyme by name or scroll through the list to find it. Select PAC-C1 from the list. Click Digest. NEB Cutter displays a map of the sequence with PAC-C1 sites displayed. To visualize a gel of this custom digest, click Gel. You can input the length of your gel to better match your electrophoresis conditions. If you are using other gel systems, you can input your electrophoresis parameters corresponding to the conditions used with your electrophoresis setup. You can select the type of electrophoresis gel that you are using with your samples, as well as the percentage. You can include a DNA ladder marker on your virtual gel using the drop-down selection menu. Let's use the NEB 1KB ladder as our marker. You can now see the expected band pattern for a PAC C1 digest of Lambda DNA. You can find NEB Cutter at nebcutter.neb.com. For more information on restriction enzymes and how-to videos, visit www.neb.com.